Hello, I'm Bini here. Are you ready for the thrilling world of AI stocks? Yes, I know that AI stocks is crazy right now. Join me as we dive into the recent AI craze and its impact on stocks like Nvidia. I'll be talking about which AI sector you want to look at and to cover one stock that looks at Nvidia before the price shot up 300% from the low. Watch till the end of this video because for that one stock that I'll be talking, I'll bring out that one factor you want to look at, you want to see so that you can start monitoring this stock. Nvidia skyrocketed by over 300% thanks to the AI wave, while Microsoft went up by 64%. But let's flip the numbers here and consider the other side. Buying Nvidia now means you are paying a 300% premium and Microsoft comes with a 64% price hike. Now, here's my approach. Instead of chasing the craze, I prefer to find stocks that haven't experienced that 300% surge yet. History has taught me that jumping on the bank wagon can leave you holding an expensive baby. So today, I'll share insights on which AI sectors to buy if you're bullish still on the sector, and yes, I am. Stick around until the end as I review a stock that bears similarities to Nvidia before its monumental price burst. Plus, I highlight the signs you should be watching for this particular stocks. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button so that YouTube can spread this video to more people who are hungry for AI stock knowledge. I've got an interesting observation to share with you today. It seems like Wall Street analysts are in a frenzy enthusiasm to endorse the hottest AI stocks. With the surge in investors' interest, it's no wonder AI is the talk of the town. People are talking about it. In fact, in my interview, the reporter are asking whether there's any AI stocks that I'm interested to talk about, you know, whether any AI stocks in the Singapore stock market. Now, if you take a look at the company earnings call, the number of times management mentions artificial intelligence has jumped. But before you jump head first into the AI stock market, it's crucial to exercise caution. And I want to exercise caution here for all of you. While the buzz around AI is undeniable, not all stocks are created equal. It's equally to evaluate carefully the options and make informed decisions. Right, so let's jump on to what kind of AI stocks to look for. In general, look for AI stocks that use artificial intelligence to improve products or gain and strategic edge. Meanwhile, be on the guard against poorly performing companies that suddenly trumpet AI product roadmaps. AI technology uses computer algorithms. The software program aims to mimic the human ability to learn, interpret patterns, and make predictions. The newest form of AI-generated content would be what you see in ChatGPT or DAOI. The top artificial intelligence stocks to buy spans chip makers, software companies, cloud computing service providers, and technology giants that utilize AI tools in many applications. Now let's take a look at this one sector which I recommend, which would be the chip makers targeting on data center market. All AI software needs computing power to find patterns and make inference from large quantities of data. So the race is on to build AI chips for data centers, self-driving cars, robotics, smartphones, drones, and other devices. Therefore, NVIDIA and Advanced Micro Devices AMD top the list, and these are the first endorsement for the AI sector to move. Now, the second sector which I encourage would be AI technology that uses computer algorithms. For example, OpenAI ChatGPT is only one of the many generative AI technologies that could roll a host of industries by creating text, images, video, and computer programming code on their own. Generative AI technology already is finding applications in marketing, advertising, drug development, video gaming, customer support, and digital arts, as well as security. Also, Microsoft MSFT continues to leverage its strategic stake in OpenAI as it aims to take on Google in internet search and office productivity tools. And Microsoft went up like 64%. But I'm sure there will be laggards. I'm very sure. I'm very sure there'll be laggards for us to continue to tap into this AI buzz, AI craze. And here, I'm going to talk about this laggard here. Remember, please subscribe to this channel and stay tuned towards the end. AI is a buzzword, but AI is a long horizontal industry and no doubt it is here to stay. If there's one country which I think will take AI to the fullest, 
I think it's China. Be it for security, for purchasing, for automotive, for animations, knowledge base. Don't forget Chinese language, Chinese word is one of the hardest language to learn. Today, I'm going to talk about Baidu, listed in NASDAQ under the code BIDU and dual listed in Hong Kong Exchange under 9888. Let's talk about Baidu AI. We have ChatGPT and Baidu has its earning bot. When it was first launched on the 16th of March, this year 2023 um, there was a mixed review on this and, and I think the review came from analysts because it was shown to the analysts right? I still remember when Steve Jobs held its first iPhone on the stage analysts also had mixed review a lot of analysts condemned and said that iPhone couldn't do an impact to Apple's future development futures earning and see where Apple is right now Ernie Bot was first showcased Bloomberg came out with headlines and it was full of praise for it and price had a positive reaction the stock price but you know subsequently people weren't too impressed because instead of doing a live demo the uh, showcase of Ernie bot was via a recorded piece right so there was an omission of this live demo so it raised the questions over Ernie's ability to match open AI chat GPT therefore on the very same day buy to stock price plunge and you see the headline from Nikkei Asia. Now I'm just going to look into Pi2 AI from two front. One would be what it just launched on the 1st of June which is Pi2 text to image. This is Pi2 text to image in Mandarin is called Wenxing Yiger. You can see that the images are very very nice. In fact if I think you know, to eat, to just say something about it. I think it's more like cartoonish animation, but it does look impressive. Okay, if, if these are things which are being drawn and, and I think it's comparable to Dao Yi or even Mid Journey. This is Ernie Bot, the Chinese version of ChatGPT. The name here is called Wenxing Yian. Uh, it's not launched yet, but you can go for trial and you can write quite a lot of things I hope so right but um, let's see how it compares to chat GPT let's take a look at buy two here price is supported at about 85 90 to 100 level this is gray color zone that I map in there was a drastic huge drop Okay, so that's happened around last year, which is consistent with all the tech stocks. But it's one of those laggard. Why? Because you see Microsoft, you see Nvidia that's work on this AI theme. They moved up, but Baidu is still not. Okay, and it's being resisted by this cluster here. That's given by a whole cluster of a three quarters of a resistance. Okay, so this resistance around 155 to 160. Now I want to mention and switch over to NVIDIA later on to show you what happened before it moved up. What happened before it moved up that 300%. Okay, but before that, let's focus into the current pattern that you see here. Now this current pattern, if I were to draw that this way, I think you know what I'm trying to say. It's resembling an inverted head and shoulder pattern. That means on a support level, it's resembling this reversal pattern, which is bullish in nature, inverted head and shoulder pattern. Now let me just switch this into NVIDIA. And with NVIDIA, and you roughly would know what I'm talking about. Okay, so this place that I'm mapping out here, so this whole place here, was NVIDIA before it moved up to 300%. Okay. Now, what is the pattern that you're going to see here? The pattern is also resembling an inverted hand and shoulder pattern. Okay, that's the inverted hand and shoulder pattern. And most important, right, the price flew because of this break in terms of the three, two quarter highs. Okay, now let me just clean this and you find that Nvidia had there's two quarter highs here. So that's a very obvious two quarter high, right? It starts to break out of this inverted hand shoulder. It breaks higher when it broke the two quarter highs. And that also confirmed the inverted hand shoulder pattern. Now, in other words, if we go back into buy two again, 
and having seen this inverted head and shoulder pattern, all right, and you tie in the event. Okay, remember I talk about Baidu first introduced Ernie bot, and the market didn't really have a very good reaction to it initially had, but later on, you know, price drop. Right, it was on 16 of March. So we are talking about somewhere around here on the 16 of March. The market was anticipating for Ernie bot to be amazing. But they didn't see and they, they, they didn't like what they saw and priced eventually head down. In other words, if we can one day see that Baidu is higher than this high, which is exactly about $160, that means all right, the market likes what they are seeing and they are showing that with prices. Okay, let me just repeat this, right? The market likes what they are seeing right now. If price can breached and closed above one hundred and sixty dollars, and I'm talking about a clear, clean breakout above one sixty. Okay, now um, I will explain in my other videos what do I mean by a clear, clean breakout because um, I, you know, I I need to spend a, a, a good time to explain that. But I'm looking at a clear, clean breakout in buy two, and the key level would be 160. Now, if you like this video, remember to give a thumbs up so that people who loves the AI theme would also get to see this video. And remember to subscribe whenever I launch new content, you will be the first to know about it. See you in my next video.